Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to play against Salama and Greg going second. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now it's my opponent's first turn. As I see my hand, I see I only have one hand trap in my hand. So, I have to use it effectively. So, my opponent goes off into his stuff. He takes out a gazelle, Norman summons the gazelle. I deny the gazelle's effect. So, right here, I have no more hand traps in my hand to play. So all I can do is watch my opponent and hope that his end board is not really big that I can't deal with. So he goes off into doing all this stuff and all you got care about, all you have to care about right here is his end board. So right here, that's the opponent's end board. He sets two cards face down and he summons number 41 Bagushka. Now, if you ever play Yu-Gi-Oh! you know you have to read every card that your opponent plays out if you don't know what that, uh, what that card does. So I read this card out. So what this card does is that any monster that is normal or special summoned on the field will get put into defense position and any monster that's on the field that is in defense position cannot have their effects activated. So since we're playing prank kids most of the uh, cards effect that we play are activated from the graveyard. So this card doesn't really matter to us that much, except for Prank Kid's Battle Butler. Battle Butler's effect, the one time that you use Meow Meow, gets activated when it is on the field. So if it's in defense position, its effect cannot be activated. So before you go into Battle Butler, you have to be thinking, uh, you have to be thinking how can you get rid of this card from the field. So I use the effect of terraforming to check for any hand traps that he may have that can deny he didn't have it and then go into prank his place and i'm successful in baiting out one of the uh, face down cards that the opponent has set down on the field which was mystical space typhoon really important guys baiting out cards because if that mystical space typhoon had hit our pandemonium that we may set down later down the line your battle butler combo on your opponent's turn on your opponent's turn would not be able to go through so I just go off into my normal combo, normal summon dropsies, link it off into Meow Meow. Using the effect of dropsies in the graveyard, I special summon out my fansies, then using fansies and Meow Meow, I link it off in Doodle Doo, and then chain link one fansies from the graveyard, chain link to Doodle Doo, trying to search for a pandemonium. But my opponent denies me the search by using Forbidden Chalice. Forbidden Chalice is going to give my Doodle Doo an extra 400 attack points. So right here, I start thinking, since my Doodle Doo is bigger than the Bagushka and I want the Bagushka off, off of the field, I'm just going to straight attack into it. So that's what happens. My Doodle Doo gets buffed, denied, it, denied the effects, and I switch to summon out my Lampsies. Go straight into battle phase, take out the Bagushka, so now your battle butler play can go through if you summon him next turn. And then I go into my main phase 2, link off the uh, Lampsies and Doodle Doo into another Doodle Doo. And then using the effect of Lampsies in the graveyard, I special summon out my Roxies. Uh, tribute the Doodle Doo, take out a Pandemonium and Prank His Place. Prank His Place is basically to just uh, banish when I use the effect of my uh, Roxies. Then I use Pandemonium, go into Rocket Ride. And then activate the effect of Roxy's in the graveyard, throw away my prank kid's place, and then uh, special summon a monster, use the effect of uh, Rocket Ride, take out two more monsters from the graveyard, and then two prank kids go into Bow Wow Bark. Now this right here, it's going to be my end board after I use my Raigeki. And this right here is my end board for my, before I end my turn. My opponent is going to draw a card, he's going to set one card face down and end his turn. So right here, I know I can damage my opponent's life points by a lot, maybe get him below 500. And if I do, even if, I'm, even if the opponent manages to wipe out my whole field on his next turn, I can still cycle through my prank kid's cards, get Lamps' effect activated and potentially kill him on the next turn. So I draw a card. And then I summon up my fansies, link it off into Meow Meow. 
then using the effect of uh, fans is in the graveyard, I throw away a prank is prank and then special summon out uh, Lamsies. Then use Bawa Bark and Lamsies to go link summon my Nightmare Unicorn. Since I did not know what the face down set card my opponent had was, I'm just gonna bounce the card back into this deck. So I used the effect of Nightmare Unicorn, bounce the card, and then link Nightmare Unicorn and my Meow Meow into an Access Code Talker. Use Access Code Talker's effect, um, gain 3000 uh, 3, attack, 5300, 2000 off of Doodle Doo, and I have managed to get my opponent down to 200 life points. Now, even if, I, even if the opponent manages to wipe up my whole board, I can still cycle through my prank kid's cards and get the Lamsey's effect and still kill him on my next turn. So, right here, I'm going to activate the effect of prank kid's play, search for a prank kid's card for the next turn. Then use access code talker and doodle doo and link it off into my predator plant, verte anaconda. Using the effect of verte anaconda, I'm gonna special summon out my battle butler. So right here, this is your verte anaconda combo into battle butler. Then I'm gonna end my turn. It's my opponent's turn. He's gonna try to normal summon a monster. I'm gonna activate the effect of battle butler, throw away a meow meow. So, he's going to activate the effect of one of the cards in his graveyard, which he can banish to make, to so that his monster on the field doesn't get destroyed. So, I chain link into Battle Butler's effect again, throwing another Meow Meow from my graveyard to destroy the card that he had on the field, which makes my opponent surrender. And that's going to be the end of the game. Hope you guys are liking these videos. If you are, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video.